whenever we talk about diabetes, some people think that it's mainly a male disorder. This is not true. We have data from the ICMR INDIAB study and from many other studies to show that the proportion is 50-50. Now why are we so concerned about diabetes in women? When it comes to the wife or the woman, what happens is they get neglected. And when they get neglected, their diabetes gets worse and worse. Moreover, when they go to work, they have additional pressure of work. So for working women to fit diabetes and its discipline into their daily life is a huge challenge. During puberty, due to the hormonal changes and the menstrual cycle and so on, the blood sugars go completely out of control. Very often, they can also have polycystic ovarian disease and that will make them at even greater risk of developing obesity, diabetes and insulin resistance and so on. The next phase in their life is after marriage and pregnancy. You know that there is a condition called gestational diabetes. So when you have gestational diabetes, due to the pregnancy itself, somebody who did not have diabetes now develops diabetes. And the other thing which happens during pregnancy is that they put on a lot of weight. After the delivery, she does not lose that weight. So that weight, that weight gain which occurs after pregnancy leads to type 2 diabetes. So the women who have gestational diabetes very quickly progress to type 2 diabetes. During menopause, what happens is the hormonal changes which occur not only make her more obese and also if her diabetes is not there, she can get diabetes then. If she has got diabetes, the diabetes worsens. We all know that in pre-menopausal stage, estrogen protects you from heart attacks. The moment they cross that stage and go into menopause, that protection goes away. So now this lady is as much prone to a heart attack as a male and remember if she had diabetes already before menopause the risk for heart disease is the same as a male i alluded to the fact that uh, in india carbohydrates are very high and we tend to take too much of carbohydrate with with every meal we don't have enough protein and then the carbs that we have are usually coming from refined carbohydrates which will increase the blood sugar levels very rapidly and there can be huge spikes of blood glucose level. Now for people who want to lose weight there are specific uh, diabetes specific nutrition formulae which have been made and if you replace one of your meal with one of this uh, the nutrition diabetes specific uh, nutrition formula you will get the right type of carbohydrate because the carbohydrate is complex, it is released very slowly, the glucose levels do not go up, they have enough protein in them, they have enough fiber in them and studies have shown that they help to control diabetes, they help to prevent the diabetes in those with pre-diabetes and if it leads to weight reduction, it can also lead to reversal of the diabetes in the early stage. So these uh, DSN, what we call as diabetic specific nutrition formulae are very, very important and can be included particularly in people who are busy and not able to get the right type of food and so on. These are excellent choices for people with diabetes to control it as well as to prevent diabetes. I want to see everybody in India live a long and healthy life and my ultimate dream is to see a diabetes complications free India and in the context of today's talk a diabetes complications free women in India. Thank you.